Napier Committee agenda uh, today. So uh, I have the apologies of Councillor Tapani, if I have a mover and a seconder for those. Uh, Councillor Mawson, Councillor Wright, all those in favour, please raise your hand. Any opposed? Carried. We have no public forum today. Any announcements, Your Worship? None from Mayor Wise. Uh, none from myself, but I'll make a call if there are any minor matters. You can see none being raised there. So any announcements by management? None from I Steph. And just um, acknowledging to the team that we have Rachel Horton stepping in for Richard Minica today um, as our management officer. Kia ora, everyone. Can I ask for a mover that the confirmation of minutes from the future NAPI committee held on Thursday the 11th of November be taken as a true and correct record? Moved by Councillor Taylor, seconded to Councillor Bogue. All those in favour, please raise your hand. Any opposed? Carried. All right, I'd like to welcome Luke, who is going to present to us our resource consent activity update, our only agenda item this morning. Kia ora, Luke. Kia ora, everyone. Uh, can you hear me all right? We can. Wonderful. Um, so by way of update today, um, I can advise that we've had a steady um, increase in the number of applications that the resource consenting team have received since our last catch-up um, last year. Um, whilst it hasn't been as significant as what we were seeing towards the end of last year, it, it's still an increase, which is, um, which is promising. Um, I'll give you an update on some of the more major applications that we've seen uh, recently. Um, 200 Waitangi Road, which is uh, for earthworks and disturbance of soil. Um, that's uh, currently under assessment, and I expect that we will have a uh, determination on that um, in due course. Um, to Darwin Crescent is a coha shed and recreational activities that we've proposed. Uh, now that's, um, that's obviously been approved since this report was written. Um, and I understand that they were happy with the uh, conditions of consent that were issued with that. Um, the, the next application that I have uh, to report on is 115 Carlisle Street, um, which was the expansion of the existing car sales um, operation. That's still under further information request and we're currently working with the applicant to address some of the landscaping matters that have been raised through that process. Um, there's, there's no real further update on that one at this point. Um, and that's, oh, uh, sorry, um, I've also got some Kanga Aura um, applications that we've received. Um, 19 Dinwiddie Avenue at Mariah Nui for three lots into five lot subdivision, uh, along with a multi-unit development. Again, that's that's under further information request. Um, the applicants working through those matters with um, a response expected in due course. And also for Lamb Terrace, which again um, has been approved since uh, writing the, this report um, and having spoken with KO the other day, uh, they've indicated they were satisfied with the conditions of consent um, and also appreciative of receiving that consent. So that's uh, that's my brief uh, update for you all and I'm happy to answer any questions you may have. Thank you, Luke. Um, I have a question from Councillor Bogue. Uh, thank you, Luke. Um, just in our papers, um, one of the pictures says the Koha Shed on page six, whereas I think it's the Waitangi Road figure yes. two our papers. So that yeah. obviously perhaps needs to move up um, a page or so. Um, but the other thing I wanted to mention, um, I don't know how important this is, but there's a couple of um, issues or a couple of things mentioned about the Koha Shed, about how they take appliances and also the sale of goods from the Koha Shed. The Koha Shed doesn't sell anything, so the Kopapa is free and free out. Um, so maybe um, it's just the way that it's written. Maybe they're talking about selling something quite separate from the Koha Shed from the Koha Shed. But also they're very keen for people not to, um, to, to provide appliances, to drop off appliances to their current Koha Shed. 
Um, so I don't think that will have changed, but I just wondered if those little um, changes could be updated, please. Well, uh, through the chair. Yeah, look, thanks. Um, thanks for those comments. Uh, I do note that, yes, that was a formatting issue, which I apologise about with uh, respect to figures two and three. Um, and, uh, yeah, you, you are correct in saying that um, they were just titled incorrectly. Um, with respect to uh, the indication of the sale of, of goods from the Koha shed, uh, my understanding is from what was submitted with the application uh, by the applicant, uh, they've indicated there may be a market store that they may wish to operate in the future. Um, and they just wanted the opportunity to present that to council as part of this application. So we were aware of that. Um, whether or not they actually go ahead with that, um, that would be a separate matter. They would need to come back to council just to confirm that such an operation would not require resource consent. Uh, and with respect to the, um, the dropping off of appliances, again, it was something that uh, may have been mentioned within the application, um, how they wish to operate um, and whether or not they wish to take those appliances from that Koha shed is, is their, um, their prerogative and not something that we will, we will sort of uh, consent. Cool. Okay, thank you, Luke. Thank you. Yeah, look, just a, a quick question from me, uh, one that's been on our report for a little while is that Carlisle Street um, expansion plan. Just a question, has that gone through Section 95 yet? Have you made a notification decision on that application? No, no, we, we, we're currently waiting to get the, um, the final feedback from some external consultants that we've um, engaged for the purpose of providing um, peer review of certain documents. Until such time as we have all of that advice back, um, the Section 95 notification report uh, won't be complete. Thank you. Just so if there's no further questions from councillors, I'm happy to move that we receive the report. Is there a seconder? Seconded by Councillor Price. Um, if there's no further questions, I can see your comments from anyone. We'll put the motion. All those in favour of Noting the report, please say aye or raise your hand. Any opposed? Carried. Thank you, Luke. Thank you. All right, that's the end of our meeting and I will formally close the Future Napier Committee and hand back over to Councillor Price for our public exclusion.